I hope in the 21st century, you know, we won't feel so constrained by all the possibilities. I mean, now we can do anything, we can make anything, we can be anywhere. Um, it's a lot to think about. The great thing about the coming century is that nothing is inevitable. I believe that the balance of power is shifting toward the individual, and I'd like to see that continue in the 21st century. I'd like to see more open-mindedness, I think progress in the nicest sense, you know, forward movement that's positive. A sense of, of a community, but extended to overall uh, the globe. The CUBE project is an idea, and the idea is to reinvestigate the portrait uh, using technology. First of all, there's this object, which is called the cube, which has a footprint of 10 feet by 10 feet, and it's made out of welded steel with translucent acrylic. Mounted into it, 24 different locations are digital video cameras, and it's taken over to another individual computer that starts to mash this and constantly recreate it on screen. So each moment on screen of someone's portrait is wholly unique. When I saw that this was this brand new form of art, I, I thought maybe what we would do is ask all these people that are going to be touted as the most important people of the 21st century, we'd ask them to come actually participate in this art installation. What we'll be doing is putting together this portrait of the 21st century, this kind of some impression of what we think is going to happen over the next few years. Well, I have many hopes, actually, for mankind. I'd like to see systems of government working together a little better than they have in the 20th century. What I most hope will happen is that we establish a self-sustaining ecosystem on another planet. Well, it'd be great if we could see uh, cures to uh, some of the major diseases. My greatest hope is that we realize the incredible healing power of the planet. And if we don't take care of those strands and protect that web of the planet around us, then it won't be here for us in the future. If we're going to get through uh, the rest of the century uh, without destroying more of our planet, we need to find some alternatives for oil and coal. We need to solve our needs for food, for housing, for energy. In the 21st century, the one that I think we really have to make a concerted effort to focus on is freedom from fear. You really hope for the 21st century that you know this world can, can live in peace. We as human beings, we really want to see narrative and things. So when these videos start to play on screen, I think what we start to do naturally is we start to create a story that goes along with them. And we try to ascribe certain actions or certain movements to a certain um, conscious direction that the person's taking. And it's only when you let go of that need for narrative and just kind of float within that space that you see that kind of beauty, that kind of randomness, that, that things taking place around you. The first tower actually helped bring Manhattan into the 21st century. I mean, it is the most forward-thinking, the most environmentally conscious building that's been built in the city. And this was a form of art that's just saying, this is what comes next. <laughs>